Oh, oh man, these things are so cool. Get a shot of what, this. Like, like people get in it? Yeah, no, for real. It's a phone, man. What do you think it does? <laughs> Sorry, mate. For what? It's from before they had... I don't know. I just thought it was cool. Hey, what, what, what's that? A weird-looking plane. I don't think that's a plane, man. No, no, no. Wait, but you keep, keep filming it. It's gonna get, like, two hits on the web. Let's watch it, man. Hey, watch out! Watch it! Dude, are you all right? Oh, shit, look at all that. Shut it off, man. Quit filming. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, oh my God, bro. Come on. This way. Try this way. Look at that dude, he's all fucked up, man! Shut the damn camera off! Stop filming! You can't get off me! You can't go out there! Go get off! Stop! Watch out! Look out! Run, man! Run! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Are you all right? Come on, man! Get off! Somebody help me! I need help here! Satellite collision. That's the official line. So what's the real story, sir? That's too much left standing for a nuke. It was a nuke. Until our missile shield took the warhead out. Couldn't do anything about the delivery system. <laughs> missile defense? I thought that program was a joke. That would be called disinformation, Kozak. And the politicians get to worry about what it all means. You're going after the launch site. Let me guess. Russians are claiming it ain't theirs. What? Just in time. Way to show. The first intel we had on the launch came from Moscow. They're as surprised as we are. Looks like a rogue spear instead. Maybe even the same one you were hunting a few months back. But for right now, London's bleeding. And we've got unfinished business. We're on the brink here, gentlemen. That missile might not have been launched by the Russian government, but it came out of Russia. Whether Raven's Rock is responsible for the launch or not, we believe they're behind the internal pressure calling for Velodin's replacement. Momentum is building and it's not looking good. We're not in position to do much about Russian politics. We'll have to go where we can do some good instead. Trajectory analysis puts the launch site in Dagestan, just east of the Georgian border. A Georgian spec ops unit was deployed to investigate, but they dropped contact and disappeared near the target zone. We've agreed to help the Georgians recover their team. With luck, we'll find some answers too. What's up, fellow ghosts? Sinistrans01 back at you with more Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Next mission up is Ember Hunt. Objectives are to locate and extract Georgian Special Forces, recover intel on nuclear launch. Something uh, special to add here is that this is an after-the-fact commentary. The reason I'm doing this is because I wanted to let you guys know exactly what I was thinking during this mission. This was a very tough mission, a lot of things to do in order to complete the challenges, and I wanted to kind of go over every little detail so you guys can see what I do when I play this. Now, our challenges are no safe distance, which is stealthily kill all the Russian riflemen that are assaulting the house. Neckbreaker. Kill 40 enemies by snapping their necks. And the last one is to kill all the snipers and RPGs during the escape. So this is not going to be easy, and we're going to do it, though. The cat's out of the bag on missile defense, and that's the least of our problems. Signature on the warhead says it was Russian, probably the one that got jacked a few months back. Who fired it? Officially Dagestani rebels with a stolen SS-20. There's no way they did this without backing. My money's on Raven's Rock. You'll be moving from open woods into tight spaces in town, which means two sets of engagement ranges. Once you get up in those buildings, a shotgun's gonna be your best friend. But out in the trees, I'd go with an assault rifle with a heartbeat sensor. Now, since, as you could see in the challenges, we have to melee pretty much 40 enemies. Now, I know it said we have to snap their necks, but it's pretty much just any type of melee damage. So we're not really worried about weapons on this mission. We're just worried about frag, incendiary, and actually kicking some fucking ass. So let's do it. Overlord, 
Hunt is in position, prepping to infiltrate. We've got multiple search teams operating in the area. So as you can see, we have zero out of 40 right now, so we got to start pretty much from the get-go. A lot of enemies up ahead. Now, my strategy for all this is I want to take out as many enemies as possible. But I want to do this, obviously, melee-wise. So we're going to have to figure out different ways to kind of get the advantage on other enemies, especially when they're bunched up in groups. It definitely does make it a little bit more difficult to take them out. But I think I form a pretty good strategy that should work for all you guys out there that want to know how to complete this tactical challenge. So we're going to start with this lone gunman right here. Pretty much out of the way. Don't even have to worry about him. Now the trick here is we got these guys here by the, uh, by the Jeep. The only problem is we have these uh, an RPG and it uh, looks like a light machine gun up there as well. So what we're going to have to do is we're not going to be able to melee both of these guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to melee this first guy. And if you tag them both instead of just the one, that as soon as you pull off a melee kill, you'll be able to actually uh, automatically kill the other guy, or should I say your squad mates will. Now you can see there's a far guy over here on the left that you got to worry about. Now the problem is the civilians, because when you're done killing these guys, sometimes the civilians might actually run off and alert the other guard that something's going on. So you make sure you want to do this really fast. Open fire. Lead moving. All right, so there's also an enemy behind me, but since he is further away, I'm not worried about him right now. I want to take out this guy right here before the civilians have a chance to run off and alert him that something's going on. Now, his animations are pretty much just back and forth, so you don't even really have to worry about it too much. Just get up on him and uh, take him out. So now we can actually have the time and take the advantage of going back and killing the lone gunman that is at the very uh, beginning of the match. Now there's other ways right. that you can do this. I'm trying to do kind of a clockwise pattern as, uh, as far as all the enemies that I'm trying to kill. I think it's the, the best route to go, but of course you can take a right instead of a left as, what, you know, as opposed to what I did. And because there are so many enemies in this beginning area, we're able to rack up a lot of melee kills right off the start. Which means we really don't have to worry about melee Shipping. kills. We can pick them up every few so often as the mission goes. It's a pretty long mission, so it's not too hard to do if you take out as many guys as you can in this first area here. Two targets marked. You can see I've uh, went ahead and targeted the... RPG and the machine gun guy up there. Now the reason is, the machine gun guy, there's no way you're going to be able to get to him for a melee. So he's one of those guys that you're just going to have to take out. But, like I said, you want to make sure that you mark both of them. Because if you only mark uh, the one guy on the other side, the machine gun guy, and then you kill this guy, it's not going to execute the machine gun guy or at the same time. So if you mark them both, on your word. when you kill this guy, it's automatically going to shoot the other guy, which actually is advantageous Ready. as opposed to on doing it separately and Standing someone by. finding a body. Do it. As you can see, the other guy was taken out even before I was able to stealth kill this guy. So now we got this guy to mark, and I go ahead and mark everybody that I plan on even right. meleeing, just because it, I find it easier to track them in case I have to move around or find a different way around them. But you can see that we have to secure this area, so there's no way to get by this without killing everybody. I'm off target. Which I think is is kind of stupid, because if, if we're ghosts and we can actually find a way to sneak past them, why not? Now the trick with these guys are you have to kind of angle yourself right in between them, that way, as soon as you're done with one stealth, move right on to the other without the other guy knowing anything. And you also want to make sure you do it when none of those guys are looking this way. Now this part right here gave me a little bit of a problem. Not really a problem, but it kind of pissed me off, I guess you could say. Now these guys, they have different, you know, patrol patterns. But what this guy's supposed to do is he's supposed to come this way, then he's supposed to go back with his friends and kind of talk with them and everything like that. 
but for some reason I think maybe just because the AI knows that the player is this close, he kind of just stays in this formation and kind of like repeats himself. So I need to find a way to take this guy out, or should I say try to take out all three of them melee. It is very much possible. But as you can see, he's just standing there, and I can't just get right up on him and do it. So, I could have taken him out with pretty much the sink shot or whatever. I go ahead and mark him. I'm thinking, maybe I should just go ahead and sink him, or maybe I can find a way to go around him. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm actually going to go kind of further back out. Since he's just going to stay in that area right there, he's not going to move for some reason. See if I can get the uh, drop on him on the opposite side. Now, doing this also prevents the other two from knowing what's going on because they're facing the opposite direction. Therefore, they don't even know what the hell's going on. They're not looking back at that guy. Which also leaves us open to do the same thing as we did with the guys in the building. We can take these two out pretty much at the same time. If you just angle it right and then you hurry up and press that X button as soon as the other guy's dead. And there you have it. All right, on me. So we are able to get 11 kills, so that's we're already, you know, one-fourth of the way done, so that's pretty cool. There's a lot of enemies in this, so we're definitely going to be able to finish it up nice and stealthy and lots of melee kills to come. Take a knee, gentlemen. Check your gear. Hunter, we've got contact with the Georgian team. Stand by, we'll patch in. Copy that. This is Sergeant Osadze from Team Zamtari. Sergeant Osadze, this is Ghost Lead. We're coming to get you. Your ghost? That's affirmative. My oldest brother served with your team many years ago. He always spoke very highly of you. We'll try to live up to it, sir. What's your team's status? I'm all that's left, and the Russians are close. We've got a fix on your location. We're on the way. See you soon. Let's go, ghost. Here. Overlord, what's the issue? Unknown, Hunter. Could be the terrain. We'll see if we can clean it up. Copy that. We're en route to the package. Hunter out. Sergeant, what's your status? I'm in contact! Pulling back! With multiple hostiles in pursuit! We're on our way. We've got to draw them off, engage all threats. All right, so here's going to be our next tactical challenge, which is to eliminate all of these guys that are attacking this house stealthy. So in order to do this, I would pretty much, you pretty much have to do it the way that I'm doing it. I mean, I really don't know if there's any other way around it, but you got to take these two guys out as quickly as possible. But make sure you don't do it until all the other guys are down the steps. You can see there's guys that are kind of forming up on the left and forming up on the right. They're all attacking a house that's in the center where the objective is actually at, the sergeant that we're trying to rescue. So I'm trying to get in as many melee kills as possible. But I noticed that, I actually noticed this early on when I was playing it, that once you get past a certain point, there's an automatic cutscene that plays and you can't, uh, you can't do the challenge anymore because as soon as you go too far up, it won't let you do the challenge. It just moves on to the next part. So you got to stay behind. So there's only two guys that we can actually melee back here. So I go ahead and uh, melee that guy, but I also take out the other guy that was in front of him just because he could possibly see what's going on on the left side. So you want to watch out for that. If you don't take out that extra guy, then he will definitely notice something going on on the left because he's so far back, he can see it. So the other trick about this one guy here is for some reason the AI is very sensitive on this part. 
Uh, there's nothing you can do, even if you're being really, really stealthy, you're automatically going to get that warning really, really fast. So you want to take this guy out super fast. Now, the trick here is you don't want to move up any closer. If you move up any closer, that cutscene's going to play, and it's going to ruin you being able to kill everybody. So we got guys on the right, we got guys in the middle, and we got guys on the left. So obviously the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out these guys on the left. And we're good to go because we took out that other guy that was in the back, so he ain't going to see us kill the guys on the left. Now the other trick is you got to make sure that one of these guys lands behind the truck that's where they're located. And as you can see here when I shoot him, he lands and falls back. Now that's perfect. Sometimes he won't land and fall back. Sometimes he'll fall forward. If he falls forward, then the guys right in front will be able to see it and you've kind of ruined everything. So you got to, it's kind of a guess, you got to find out when's the best time to do it so he falls back. Now the rest here you just take each out three by three and then you have completed the objective. Ready to fire. Now what was really cool was that I also earned an achievement for that, a tactician, and that was 50% um, done with all the tactical challenges. So I assume by this point that I'm about 50% done with the game, which is amazing because I've played a lot of this game and I'm loving every minute of it, but it just uh, it just keeps going and going. It's one of those long, long games and I'm loving every second. There's no more games that are really coming out right now, so I'm going to take my time with this and try to do it really stealthy and, and uh, as perfect as I can. As you can see, there's the cutscene that automatically happens when you step too far ahead. So now you've got guys that come on you. There's nothing you can do. you got to fight them. But this is also a good chance to get a couple of very, very easily melees. Yes, it's a little bit about waiting for them to come to you. But you want to take out the guys that you can take out. And let the ones that come running at you, the perfect opportunity to melee them. You're pretty much invulnerable when you melee them. And these two dumbasses just come up on me right at the same time. And like I said, you're invulnerable when they start meleeing. But you got to get back into cover as soon as possible. Or else you could get killed by these guys right here with the ride shields. Now the other cool thing is this guy you can actually melee. Just because he has a riot shield doesn't mean you cannot melee him. So I just got three very easy melee kills. Uh, a total of, let's see, if we count the two snipers at the beginning, that's one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven people in just this area right here. And this is only the second part of this level. So we've already got quite a bit of melee kills. Now the rest is just pretty much gunfighting. I might get another melee kill, one or two in there. But uh, since my objective is to get those 40 melee kills, I'm kind of laying back, waiting to see what they do. But at the same time, I'm trying to get up on them, trying to get the flank around them, just so I can get as many melee kills as possible before it gets too close to the end. I don't like to cut things to the end. One thing about this game is, if you complete an achievement, or not an achievement, but a tactical challenge, and let's say you die later, you know, uh, it's got the certain checkpoints that you go back, but you've already completed that challenge. So it makes it difficult to get everything kind of like in one go. So it's definitely not easy, it's a lot more tactical, and that's what I love about it. So we're able to get the, get the go-ahead on this guy here and try to get the, this last guy back here. And we know that my ghosts are taking care of other people, so I'm not worried about what's behind me. Just worried about trying to get as close to these last few soldiers as possible so I can get in that Move melee. In Alright, I almost think that that's uh, one of the enemies, but that's one of mine. One other problem I don't like so far is that any vehicle can be engaged too. So sometimes when you're looking at your magnetic viewer and you're just trying to get someone, it kind of screws everything up. But you can see we already got like 20 melee kills and we're only in the first two parts. So we're halfway there already. Overlord, Hunter confirmed. VIP's not here. Now this is where our cross car starts messing up. See, this is why I don't touch anything with batteries. Never pays to rely on the gadgets. So things up ahead get really, really kind of weird. You know, you might see an enemy, but it's not really an enemy. As you can see, it just said contact, and it said clear, but there's nobody here. Now you can just barely see that there was enemies kind of rushing in and kind of waiting for me. So I already know, even though this is the first time I did this part right here, I already know that they're waiting for me, because they made it so obvious that I saw them up ahead. Nothing you can do, you just, you gotta 
kill as many as you can. So I, I try to sneak up behind, you know, to get a, a melee or two in. They're repositioning. Moving, cover. See, this guy will be pretty easy to get that melee with, but I'm worried about the guy over there. I don't want to set myself up and then get killed because I'm stupid and I'm trying to get too many melee kills. So I just sit back and let them take care of it. Overlord, we've got a read on the VIP. They're moving him to a church. We'll guide you in. Copy that, Overlord. Fall in. We'll go through here. I hope we didn't come all this way just to get a good man killed. Dead or alive, we're taking him home. So since I got a minute, I want to thank everybody for watching these videos of mine. Uh, I appreciate very much all the comments and all the views that I'm getting for them. Um, my plan is not to put up another video until at least that 